and hey, we audited the financial statement. We have a degree of risk that we didn't catch the material, a material misstatement, but we're giving some degree of assurance that the audit would then have picked up a material error. And therefore there's a higher degree of assurance for the users of the financial statement to depend on the numbers that actually have been provided and therefore a higher likelihood that business will be conducted, transactions will happen due to a higher degree of trust. So given that, let's go through this definition one more time. The size of, so materiality, the size of an omission or misstatement. So either something was uh, misstated, stated incorrectly, or it wasn't stated and it should have been stated, also a mistake, of course, of accounting information that it makes it probable. So obviously probable, we have this term again, that's not specific, it's kind of a judgment term, that the judgment of a reasonable person, so now we have this reasonable person term, so we're taking common sense logic kind of concept into play, relying on the information, so they're gonna be relying on the financial statements, would have been changed or influenced by the omission. So we're imagining they're relying on the information for something such as investment. There, If there was an omission or some kind of change, that was material, they then would change their decision. Now, if you're talking about a publicly traded company that's making you know millions to billions of dollars a year, you can have an omission that a problem, an error that could be you know a hundred thousand dollars of revenue that wasn't stated or was stated. And given given the size of the company, you may still say that that was immaterial, which seems amazing, but it it could be possible because you if you're looking at financial statements. Uh, these big numbers, even up to a million dollars, if you're talking about really multi-million dollar uh, companies, you could have a million dollar error that if you were thinking about investing probably wouldn't be something that would influence your decision. So when we start to think about these big numbers, just realize that you could talk about big dollar terms that could be immaterial because we're looking at relationships with with the other numbers being being involved and what we would think in terms of an investment decision with regards to large, very large numbers could result in an omission that's quite large that uh, would still not influence a reasonable per person's decision-making process. So we'll get into more ideas in, later on in terms of when